Today is June 16th of 23 and the jungle's looking pretty good. I wanted to show you my Cordelline Astralis. I know I've done a couple videos, but this is going to be a look at how much it's grown over the last three years. There it is. Start at this side over here. So I put these in in 2020. That's three years ago now when I first started this garden. Hard to believe how much the garden, how much this space has changed in three years. But these plants were a little bit of a mystery. You read conflicting things online about how hardy they are, how fast they grow, how big they get. But I feel like I've kind of got a handle on them now a little bit. And uh, we're, you know, here in the Pacific Northwest, Thurston County, I'm right on the line of zone 8A, 8B. And I have yet to observe an 8A winter over the last three years that I've been doing this. And I've never seen these get damaged. There are a bunch of big specimens around here that are 10, 12, 15 feet tall. And I've over the last three years, I've never seen them take any damage. The other colors of um, Cordeline, they will die to the ground, but they have a pretty good record of coming back from the ground as well. So the bananas right up here, they are six and a half feet tall. So this Cordeline is, it's probably almost five foot. It's definitely over four, way over four. And we've got probably 20 inches of trunk down there. If I wanted to, I could defoliate the bottom part. Probably wouldn't do it too much harm because the, the leaves down here don't get very much sunlight. But I don't like cutting off green foliage if I don't have to because the more solar panels you have, the better. Um, something else cool. So I noticed all of this stuff that's bent over, that's all last year or the previous year's growth. And then everything that's sticking up, that's all new for this year. I noticed it, I don't know, six or eight weeks ago, just like a little flush, almost like a new leaf spear from a, a palm. And uh, it, is, it is moving. It has put out, what is that, two foot? 30 inches of new foliage on all of those things. So she is moving pretty good. And this one gets a lot of water because I've got those bananas there. This area, the ground stays pretty wet. So it seems to enjoy having wet feet. I'll show you the other um, quarter line that I got at the same time. Those were both one gallons. These are both one gallons, I should say. Um, this one is way smaller though. After the first year, I transplanted this to this location and uh, that set it back quite a bit. And this area stays high and dry. The ground stays real dry. This one's only 30, 24 or 30 inches tall probably. And uh, I think the main difference is how wet the soil is. The soil here is just, it's, it's dry, it's rocky. There's not much to it. The other one also sits in more organic, organic-y soil. There's a red form that died to the ground and it's pushing up. This is all brand new growth. All that little pink stuff there, if you can see that. So, got a couple other colorful ones here that took a beating this winter. You can see how ratty. These are actually clearance. I think they were like a couple bucks a piece. But look at this brilliant, almost hot pink, new foliage. Yeah, yeah.